Fire has for a long time been at the forefront of designers' considerations when they're involved with construction projects, material manufacture, or product fabrication, especially where it's to be introduced to and employed within the public domain. Within recent years, we've witnessed the incredibly destructive, life-taking powers of fire within the oil fields of Kuwait, King's Cross London Underground Station, the Paddington Rail disaster, and the devastated swathes of homeland caused by the Florida forest fires. However, less prominently reported incidents of human fatalities and loss of civic, commercial, and domestic premises occur daily within localized communities. In the attempt to prevent loss of life through fire, three major considerations have to be overcome. Destruction by heat, destruction by flame, and asphyxiation due to noxious smoke and fumes. Over the years, certain materials have been employed within the construction and manufacturing industries which have proven satisfactory under certain circumstances to provide limited application to one or possibly two of these considerations. The majority of the more effective materials employed contained asbestos. However, the use of asbestos has now been outlawed due to the material's harmful properties. Following the discovery that asbestos is carcinogenic, a suitable replacement for asbestos has long been sought, without much success until now. Indeed, a product now exists which exceeds the fire retardant properties of asbestos. However, this product can offer more, much more. This product not only fulfills the requirements of all three fire-related design considerations, it also demonstrates extreme insulation efficiency which can be used to protect against severe cold temperatures or maintain any temperature, such as the accurate control of sustained liquid temperatures within pipelines. Not until now has there been a product that stands to outperform all predecessors. That product is LG5. LG5 is a fully moldable product, that's to say that any shape, size or color fabrication can be manufactured. LG5 is a highly efficient fire retardant product with an incredible ability to prevent the transfer of the most extreme hot or cold temperatures through the material. LG5 is an extremely lightweight yet strong plastic composition which is totally harmless and can be readily handled and cut. Numerous additive versions are available which can provide flexibility and added reinforcement properties to the base product dependent upon the design requirements. LG5 doesn't give off smoke or noxious fumes, even under the most extreme fire conditions. It doesn't shrink, expand, or distort, no matter how severe the hot or cold temperatures may prove. As a material, LG5 seals to all known construction and manufacturing fabrics to provide a smoke-proof seal and has proven to be resistant to oils, petrochemicals, acids, alkalis, and detergents. It's unaffected by UVA and it's non-soluble and impervious to water. LG5 shows properties that will amaze you and lends itself to endless commercial and industrial applications. So just what is LG5? Well, with its patent still pending, its exact chemical composition is a closely guarded secret. But one of the things that makes it a potentially attractive commercial proposition is that it's very easy to make. It's made up of just two ingredients. And they are LG2 and LG3. Now, when these two ingredients are mixed together in the right proportion, you come up with LG5. And it's very light, too. Take a look at this small brick of LG5. Strawberry cream cake. Fancy that. LG5 can be molded into the most intricate shapes, and since it has such a short curing time, it can be made much more quickly than competitors' materials. Without sacrificing strength, as we've already seen, it's extremely light. It's ideal for use in ships, trains, and aircraft interiors, where the need for good fire protection materials is often offset by the increase in weight that that entails. Okay, let's put LG5 to the test. And first of all, Chris over here has a propane gas torch, which is going to fire at this plastic composite tile. It's just 15 millimeters thick. And then we'll leave it and come back later to see what happens. Chris, it's all yours.
Now, one of the most remarkable properties of LG5 is its ability to prevent the transfer of heat. So, at this end of the bench, we have another tile, just exactly the same as the other, and this time we're going to fire an oxyacetylene cutting torch at it. This operates at 2,500 centigrade. And when you think that iron melts at 1,500 centigrade, this in fact makes its living from cutting through iron girders and heavy gauge steel. Chris, off you go. Well, this oxyacetylene cutter has been blasting away at the tile for more than 10 minutes now, so it's time to prove a point. Let's have a go. <laughs> and I tell you, that is quite amazing. It's not even warm. It's quite extraordinary. And uh, if you can't take my word for it, let's get somebody else in. Sally, who's our production assistant today, come round and uh, you've been waiting for this, I know. You can still just put your hand right in the middle there, it's quite fine. Pretty good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Clever. Thank you very much, Sally. Okay. Well, quite clearly, the LG5 has prevented the transfer of heat through the 15 millimetres of tile. And if you're still not convinced, then let's move on to the butter test. Behold one black box, which is made from, guess what? That's right, LG5. And inside is a well-known brand of butter, which I'll take out of its wrapper and stick back. Now, once again, we're going to use the oxyacetylene cutting torch, which, by the way, you have to remember, is going to be operating at 2,500 centigrade, and it's normally used to cut through heavy-grade steel and iron girders. So it shouldn't have a problem at all with a pad of butter. Thanks, Chris. And here we are, a moment of truth. Do we have a hard slab of butter or a souffle surprise? Let's find out. Oh, it certainly looks hard. If I put my finger in there, well, that's extraordinary. It's stone cold. It's no warmer than it was when I put it inside. It's extraordinary and another clear example of the enormous potential LG5 has. For our final test, we've come outside to bring on the big guns, a machine capable of making the hottest flames outside of hell. It's called a thermic lance, and it can operate up to 6,500 centigrade. And it's used to melt through rock surfaces, demolish concrete structures, and cut through the very thickest gauges of steel and iron. And since nothing can withstand the power of the thermic lance, this will be a comparative test to see which is most heat retardant. And we start with a thick concrete block, and I am standing well out of the way of this one.
Well, after a matter of just about 10 seconds, a thermic lance has punched a huge hole right the way through this concrete block. Well, next up, a steel girder. Well, I'm almost tempted to say pathetic. The steel girder lasted just a couple of seconds and it's peppered with holes. OK, it's time now to find out how the LG5 gets on. Just how hot a product is it? Now, this block of LG5 is actually about 25% thinner than the block of concrete we saw earlier. Well, the LG5 has certainly won in terms of the time it took to burn through, and its fire retardant properties are clearly better than the others. It's burnt a large hole in the front, but as it's come through to the back, there's just a small drill hole. Extremely impressive. So there you have it. LG5, a fully moldable and practical manufacturing material with incredible fire retardant and thermal insulation properties. A material that proves to be lightweight, strong, unyielding to extremes of hot and cold temperatures and is perfectly safe. No noxious fumes or smoke is given off from LG5. And just think for a moment of all the potential applications of this truly amazing product. Train carriages, aeroplane fuselage interiors, fireproofing buildings. Indeed, if first story flooring was to be fabricated from LG5 boarding, the spreading of fire up through a building, such as a guest house or hotel, would be significantly reduced. Total fire break zones can be achieved using LG5. Stairways and fire escape routes wouldn't burn or emit poisonous fumes or smoke. LG5 is the answer to building protection. Steel-framed superstructures can be protected against collapse due to the ravages of intense fire. The searing heat would be prevented from melting or distorting the steelwork, providing invaluable time for rescue operations and protection of assets within the premises. Commercial kitchens, boiler rooms and other high-risk fire zones can be totally encapsulated using LG5 cladding. Nightclubs, theatres, cinemas, hospitals, schools, civic buildings and other public amenity structures can be suitably protected to help save lives and assist the firefighting services in their tasks. LG5 is also ideally suited for archiving valuable, highly flammable or irreplaceable items such as museum artefacts, currency, fireworks, incendiary items, acetate film or digital data storage facilities to name just a few of the instances where sealed LG5 containers, crates or lined strong rooms would provide the ultimate flame, heat and smoke damage protection. Now, do you remember that first 15 millimeter thick LG5 tile that we put in front of the propane gas burner? Well, as you can see, it's still doing fine, and it's absolutely cool on the back still. Not bad for a plastic composite. And just imagine how effective that could be if you could, say, make an entire fire door out of LG5, as this one is. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching this presentation and for your time. We hope you found it useful and informative. Goodbye.